Hi everybody, it's me Vic. So I know I talked about Wavelink 3.0 in one of my videos, but I'm excited to talk about Wavelink 3.0 and voice mod. And it was fairly simple to set up considering I haven't used voice mod in a very long time, but I know there are many users who do. So we're gonna get into it. Let's get started here. All right, so first things first with voice mod. We're going to be going into our settings after we install voice mod, right? And I know you're probably familiar with Wavelink 2.0. So I'm going to say scratch everything you know about Wavelink 1.0, 2.0. When it comes to 3.0, it's fairly simple to actually use voice mod. Um, it is going to require a submix, at least with the workaround that I've learned. And uh, there is like one caveat to it. So we're going to get into all of that. Um, as you can see, I created an SFX channel just for this, but I relabeled it. Um, and, and we're going to look at that in Wavelink here in a, in a minute. But before I actually created this, I had to do it to my headphones. The reason why was so that way it could route somewhere until I actually created it once the app was booted. So once you create it, you go to your headphones, right? We're going to start from scratch here. Then you're going to go to Wavelink 3.0. And I'm doing this for also the vertical format. So you might see me moving some stuff around, which you're like, why are you doing that? But it's for the vertical format. Anyway, I went here, I created the app, right? So when, when I did this, it was a standard app icon. And I literally went here. I, I guess we could do it from scratch, huh? Let's remove the channel. <laughs> All right, so I went here, I went to create a channel. I clicked on voice mod and I told voice mod that I wanted it to be labeled SFX. And then I came here, I changed the icon, and that was that. Next thing I did was actually create a voice mod SFX. Um, so you, I went here, added a mix, and you know, now I have four mixes. <laughs> Technically five right now, but four. I only need four, but I'm not really using voice mod. This is for people who want to use voice mod. So I don't need to really worry about adding an extra. But I went here, I changed the name up here to voice mod slash SFX. And the reason why I did that was because in case I wanted to use the voice changer, I could. I personally won't be using the voice changer, but I will talk about it in the video. I, I prefer to use it for the soundboard, which I think is really cool because you can actually like clip a whole bunch of different things and then route it, right? So I really only need one channel just for SFX on the submixes. I can add my actual microphone to it so that way I still have my voice focus because I don't have the VST yet, but I do have voice focus integrated directly with my XLR dock combo connected with the Stream Deck Plus. So I'm going to be probably using my main microphone through this particular channel or submix, I should say, if if that becomes a thing. Although, you know, it'll probably live rent free on my computer without me using it just so that way I can upkeep any of the videos for those who do use voice mod. Anyway, um, what I did was add this, label it, and that was that. Now, once you do that, right, you can actually go back into voice mod. It says, do you want to switch? I'm going to click on don't switch and don't show me this again. Like I don't, I don't want to see that pop up ever again. I don't want to change anything. So once I labeled it SFX, I went here and then I basically looked for my SFX. And if you don't see it right, then you're going to have to close out of voice mod and you're going to have to relaunch it. And then once it relaunches, if it still doesn't see it, then you have to close out of Wavelink 3.0 and relaunch it. So here we go. See how it has SFX right there? We're gonna select that. So now we know that it's routing to the correct channel or input right here in our mixes in Wavelink 3.0. All right, so now what I wanna do is activate this under the voice mod SFX, right? Now you don't see anything moving yet, but there's a reason for that. And we're gonna get into that. All right, so I, I did already create all of this set up for OBS, so you'll be able to hear the voice changing, you'll be able to hear the soundboard and all that stuff here in a minute. But i um, just gonna give those who are looking in the vertical format a preview. I'm always gonna use my microphone directly from like my input. So in this case, I'm using the XLR dock with my mic in, and it also has the voice focus. However, if you're wanting to use the voice changer, I've noticed that even if I am using voice focus, the, the VST isn't carrying through because you have to do it here, 
right? So even though I have it activated here and I can use it as a primary mic here in, in Wavelink 3.0 right here, which is muted currently, um, I do intend to have this unmuted and then have the bottom one necessarily um, for, for sound effects only because that's what I would really pr primarily use it for as a soundboard. I wouldn't be using the voice changer. I don't need to, but um, you could do that, right? Like it would come through here. That's where my main microphone is. That's not voice mod. And then the voice mod microphone as well as the soundboard comes through here. Um, and that's gonna actually be like your, your mix to your sub mix. So hopefully that makes sense for you. Um, and then we're gonna go back to voice mod, right? So now that we have this set up here with our microphone, as well as our sound effects, we can actually go to mixer mode. I did turn off background noise because it automatically does it for you. So you really don't need a VST set up under your sound effects channel. And, and that's why you see me not having one here is because voice mod does it for you. It, it removes the background noise for you. So, you know, I do recommend clicking this button for your submix. And the noise gate is automatic, so you just turn on background noise reduction and you're good. All right, now we're going to mixer mode, right? And this is how you're able to see how everything is working directly in voice mod. We do not need to change anything here for what we're doing to make it work. So this is all good, right? Once you set it in here in basic mode, you don't need to change anything in mixer mode like you used to. So it, it, it's a win in my book. All right, now we can go to voices, right? So we're gonna talk about the voice changers. In order for the voice to carry through the microphone, and this is what I've learned, you have to turn here myself on. I don't, I mean, you can turn the voice changer, you have to make sure this is on too. If I do this, it's not gonna do the voice changer, it's just gonna let me do the sound effects. You have to turn this on and you have to turn on hear myself. The reason why, and I'll show you, is because now you see that I'm talking right and you see how here in, in voice mod, as I'm talking, it starts to show the let, uh, little lever or meter or you know levels um, on, on the volume here that it's coming through. And, and that's how it's supposed to work, okay? Um, it, it's, it, it is a microphone, right? And so you're going to see that audio come through and that's how it's supposed to route. Now, I can say that if you turn this off, right? And we're going back here, it's not gonna come through because it's not hearing the microphone. If I were to just do it this way and use my regular microphone, it would come through without any issues. But if you're just using the voice mod microphone and you're using Wavelength 3.0, you're gonna wanna turn this on if you're using the voice changer. That way it can actually carry through. You don't have to hear yourself, meaning you could come in here and you don't have to put your headphones in here anymore and listen to it if you're just treating it like a microphone, right? But if you wanna hear it, you technically could tell it, go to my headset, right? So I can hear myself. And I am gonna tell you that Messing with this is going to, for your audio hearing, mess with everything when it comes to the levels. So if like I do it low, because what I'm doing in OBS is I'm telling OBS to capture this audio as opposed to the individual audio right here. And the reason why is because in the event that I wanna use my microphone, I want my, my mix to come through the actual mix, the submix here. So I'm telling it, I want you to capture this and I want you to capture this. Um, main reason, like I said, is for the soundboard. So it's like combining your microphone and your soundboard together. Or if you're not doing your microphone at all, and you're just using voice mod for the voice changer as well as the FF, uh, SFX, meaning the soundboard, then you only need to do it here, which works in either way, right? So it, it's optional, it's up to you. So let's go ahead and uh, minimize Wavelength 3.0, and now, now that we know we need to have this on all the time, if we're doing a voice changer, we can uh, start looking into, um, you know, some fun, fun things here. So what I've done with my stream deck, as you can see, I have the voice mod muted right now, is I created um, some actions, right? And in here in particular, I have the background noise because some voices do have background noise and I absolutely hate it. I, I wish that it would let you automatically default have it off 
and then you could decide if you want to turn it on right I don't really care for the background noises on the voices but um, for the sake of, of having fun I'm gonna choose random doesn't look like it has a voice and then what I'm gonna do is mute my microphone and then use the voice mod microphone and it should still come through with me talking I have no idea what voice is being used and I can do that which is pretty cool. All right. Um, so we're, we're going to mute that again, right? Now, if I don't want my microphone, and you saw me push that, right? Like you, you see it's no longer highlighted. And so if we look in voice mod, we can see here that I turned off hear myself. Even if you turn off hear myself, you can still use the soundboard. So we're going to get started into that one, right? And this is my soundboard here. I know it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to unmute the voice mod microphone. So I'm currently using voice mod, but I'm using it as a soundboard now. And uh, what I'm going to do is actually do my little anime. Wow. wow. You can do that right now. Pretty cool, huh? And then look, I have the, the Mario theme thing, right? So that can play. And then if I wanted to, I could do like, Oh Luigi, no! Or I could troll people, right? And do my Discord little doo-doo. Just like that. And at least the soundboard will still work without you actually having to use the voice changer. So it, it works in unison together, right? But if I wanted to do the, the voice changer, changer and, and I, I wanted, wanted to do the soundboard, soundboard I could do that and uh, do some randomized voice while I'm doing this and it's still coming through, right? right. right. That, that one had a background noise and I don't like that, so I turned it off. And that's, and that's so, so, if you, you see in my stream deck, right, 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 here, right, here, right here, where it has where FX, FX, if you see that, see the reason why I have that there is to turn off the background noise if I don't want that in my voice changer. Now, now, now once you've set all of this up, right, for those who are, are Discord people, and I'm, I'm going to pull up Discord here, right, right, for those who use Discord, I know I have like everything on my screen here, um, you can actually change your microphone, right, right. You can click on show more and tell it that you want it to be your voice mod as effects. Sorry, y'all. I, I was turning off the voice mod. I don't know what you heard. I don't know the voice that was on. I'm so sorry. So for the Discord peeps, right? who like to use voice mod in Discord or, you know, whatever you're doing, whether it's a soundboard or the voice changer or both. Um, what I did was actually tell it to choose my submix, right? So my submix is actually labeled as voice mod slash SFX. If you, if you selected that and then you did what I did where you remove it and then you re-add it just for the sake of the video, um, I'm going to tell you that you have to come back in here and reselect it, right? And then I have it routing to my chat channel so that way I can hear my buddies because that's where I prefer to hear my buddies. As I mentioned in my video yesterday, that I have it routed here. So I will always hear my chat here. I could essentially hear it here, but then that carries through that particular submix and that's not what I want. I wanna be able to hear it here, but I also wanna be able, cause when I'm doing that, I'm actually listening to everything here, right? Let me mute my speakers. Um, so I'm mean, listening to everything real time here while I'm actually telling it, I want this to output somewhere else. So it's very simple to use. I hope I didn't confuse anybody and of course if you have questions drop them in the comments below and I'll be happy to help you with it for those who are using the Wavelink 3.0 beta. But using voice mod with Wavelink 3.0 is extremely easy now. Like it, it, they took out all of the whole complicated mechanics of going into the mixer. You just said it. It took me less than 10 minutes to do and everything has been working flawlessly, um, including the soundboard. So you know, keep that in mind that you, you can create so many different things um, between simultaneous devices, meaning your Stream Deck, your Stream Deck Plus, or you know, if you're doing things through Discord or if you're doing things through um, Wavelink 3.0, it's gotten easier to use voice mod without all of the stress of where do I route what? 
Like it's a very simple way to do things. I know I have a lot of screens on here, but I wanted to show you all this because it's extremely easy. And like I said, it took me less than 10 minutes for setup. And what I showed you is exactly what I did. And it is a very simple thing to do. Now, if we were talking about routing it through, for example, a, um, a recording, I'm gonna pull up Meld Studio for this. But if, if we're talking about routing it through like for streaming, it's super simple because that's exactly what I did with OBS. And when I'm showing you in Meld Studio, it's going to do the same thing that you do in OBS. You just add it as a specific audio input or output. And in this case, in OBS, it's an audio input. So I would think like-minded, it would be the same thing in Meld. So, oh yeah, I got an error on Meld. Hold on y'all. Um, I just need to find the, the top section so I can move it. this works okay there we go <laughs> sorry about that y'all okay so as you can see I have all of this going on here right um game right and then my microphone right okay so I'm actually going to add a new audio track or audio mixer so if I wanted to I could tell it route my voice mod SFX right and you could see that it's actually working it's that simple so keep that in mind when you're actually wanting to set up in OBS or in Meld Studio or any other streaming broadcasting software. It's really simple. Like I said, Wavelink 3.0, it's a new architecture. It makes things super easy to route. It, it, like you saw it literally, just a click of a button once you see your submix and you just add it. Um, if you prefer to do the individual channels, you can, but with this particular scenario, because voice mod does do the soundboard and it does do a voice changer, you might want to probably just keep it simple and have the, the mix right here where you're routing it from the channel to the mix. And me personally, I won't be using the voice changer. So like I'll be turning that off. I'll be having this set up just like this. So that way I can actually use my microphone, my actual, wave microphone right my my wave dx with the voice uh, focus and the uh, xlr dock coming through here in the submix as well as the soundboard coming through here so for me that's going to be what works but maybe you might want to use the voice changer as well as the soundboard and you would only need this one so in other words this wouldn't even be here it would be right here but for me i'm going to actually keep that there and leave it unmuted because i would prefer to use my main microphone and just the soundboard that way, you know, I can troll my buddies sometime in Discord. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I hope this has been a very helpful and simple guide for you to follow setting up voice mod with Wavelink 3.0. Bye.